Hi everyone, welcome back to Alpha Hunters with me, Austin John, of the YouTube channel Austin John Plays, and today we're going to be hunting Alpha Pokemon in the Coronet Highlights. Great! Roll the intro. I realized I said highlights in the intro, but I said it so fast I didn't want to go back. Okay, so these are going to be all of the Alpha Pokemon that we are going to be discovering in this area. Uh, we already have Carnivine, because, you know, you definitely needed another Carnivine. Maltham was in the last area, so those are kind of duplicates. And this is everything that's technically new, even though you literally caught Sligu at a level that he could evolve, and you probably did it twice, and you already have a Gudra, I'm still gonna go over the Gudra. In ascending level order, the Pokemon that you're gonna be finding here include Carnivine, Gligar, Luxray, Bronzong, Maltham, and Gabite in the 50s. In the 60s, we're looking at Steelix, Golem, Crobat, Mismagius, Clefable, and Electrovire. In the 70s, we have Gudra, Probopass, Rhyperior, and the highest level one, Gliscor, at 77. Do keep in mind these levels can fluctuate ever so slightly. In addition, once again, these are only the placed alphas. After you help quell the Frenzy Noble Electrode, there's a 1-2% to chance that all of the Pokemon that appear in the overworld, and in boxes, crates, trees, rocks, whatever, have a chance to be an alpha Pokemon. For the first time ever, I'm going to talk about interior Pokemon. <laughs> In the Wayward Cave, right next to the entrance, is where we can find ourselves Alpha Crobat. Also, just a quick pro tip, I do recommend after you've generally explored the whole area to leave and come back at a chance that, you know, maybe the random Pokemon might be shiny, which would be nice. Still have not gotten a shiny alpha. When you're inside of the Wayward Cave, you want to follow all of the pathways and include the torches, generally with the torch passing to the left, and that's gonna be bringing us to the large room with the, uh, I guess it's technically a pond. Heading down the corridor, you're gonna be finding yourself that alpha crobat. You probably saw this when you first walked in here with uh, that guy. In addition, he doesn't have very good sight. Maybe, I don't know, he's blind like a bat. And a jet ball is all you need. From here, we're gonna make our way to the mountain camp. And just to let you know, Carnivine is located over here on the map in the Lonely Spring. He's right over there, but again, we already have Carnivine. And instead, we're not gonna face Carnivine. Instead, we're gonna go over the mountain just to the north of him. And over here, we can find ourselves Alpha Bronzong. Now, Alpha Bro. Oh! I also have a random Alpha Bronzor. Can I catch you? Also, because Levitate's not in the game, you can KO these guys with ground moves? Ugh! Oh, nothing makes me so much happier than after playing through Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. Now, when I'm playing through this game, and these guys are annoying, I just hit them with a ground move, and then boom! No more. No moss. They gone. Speaking of no moss, they gone. We caught that. Cool. We're gonna be continuing straight down this, uh, path. Yeah, I guess it's- I guess it's a path. Oh! I charm, getting the jump on me like a good bandit, but I'm not in the post game, so you're only gonna give me stardust, no nuggets. <sighs> Let's go get that satchel and help out Max. You're welcome, Max. Yes, that's I know that's a computer, it's not a real person. That's fine. So is everyone in Animal Crossing. Over here is where we're gonna be finding Steelix straight ahead. And Steelix can be a little bit of a fickle guy. He does have the highest base physical defense of any Pokemon. So if you can avoid getting into a battle with him, you should. Oh, I'm still technically in the smoke. And we caught him. <laughs> He's also not that special because, you know, due to the time-space distortions, you can actually find an Alpha Steelix in the very first area of the game. Heading up here to the ancient quarry, we're gonna be finding ourselves Alpha Gudra, who, again, not that special because you found an Alpha Sligu at the same level that it's ready to evolve. As long as it was raining, you could literally just catch it and evolve it on the spot. In addition, there's still one more in the story, so that's cool. Oh, and then down here. And down here, boom! Find ourselves a big old Motham, which I'm not even gonna encounter because we literally just had a big old Motham in the last place, so I'm so over it. Now we're gonna be getting to pretty much all the good alphas now. In the Stone Tooth Rose, you're gonna be finding yourself this location here. It's one of the graveyards, and you're gonna become very familiar with this area if you're gonna be doing the time-space distortions here. This is where you're gonna be able to commonly find Mistrevious, and then also there's an Alpha Mismagius down here. Save yourself a Dusk Stone, go get this Alpha. Also, Mismagius tends to be caught pretty easily with a Jet Ball. You know what? I, I might want you for the thumbnail. Let's, let's go for the thumbnail. 
Also, be sure to catch a mischievous for the uh, the barber, the hair cutter. Miss Magius, if I had to take a guess, you have to be defeated by dark moves. Good job, Gyarados. You're the best red, scary dragon Pokemon I have. Continuing on down the Stone Tooth rows, all the way down to the bottom where the Boulder Row Ravine is, you are going to be coming across an Alpha Golem, which is a pretty great find, saving yourself a linking cable. He's down there. Is that Alpha Ghastly? Yep. Ghastly. Psst. Guess what? I'm going to catch you. A little closer. There we go. And we're just going to turn around, and now we're going to catch Golem. What? I got to defeat you with grass moves, right? Oh, I don't want a back shot. Yay, number defeated, plus one other. I think that's grass moves. And the reason I still have it nighttime is for the one other Pokemon that relies on it being nighttime, who's gonna be located all the way down here at the Fabled Spring. Clefable can be a spicy one. Is that two Clefa? I thought they were supposed to be rare here. For the Clefable, of course, you know, there's always the chance you can catch it with the Jet Ball or the Ultra Ball. You know what, I'm gonna go for Ultra Ball. Ooh, back shot. If not, we'll go into battle. Crobat that I just caught. Go use cross poison. <laughs> Good job, Crobat. I know you're Philly's favorite. Next up, we are gonna be heading through the Sacred Plaza down to the Celestica Ruins. And the first Pokemon that we're gonna be coming across is gonna be Alpha Luxray, literally in front of the ruins. Oh, and a random wild Alpha Rotom. But I already have one, so I'm good. Oh, that's like a less than 1% spawn. Not the Luxray, he's always there. Okay, up here is going to be Alpha Gligar. Some of the website maps actually don't have this guy listed. But as you can see, he's right here. 100% spawn rate. Gyarados, use the ice move and defeat the Gligars. Good job. Next guy we're going to is going to be located right underneath Gligar. And uh, this is a spicy one. It's... Gibble? No, that's Gibble. Uh, Gabite, that's its name. I always forget the adolescent names. I think you're the only Pokemon in the game that I need to defeat with dragon moves, which I don't have on anyone, so. But you know what Gabite don't like? Guess what? It's Ice Fang. Not like that at all. Bye. Oh! Oh, Gibble wants them too. Okay, well, we could Ice Fang that too. Okay, bye. From here, we're going to be hopping down and going south a little bit to the primeval gro- oh. <laughs> that, that's a, that's a callback. Callback if, if you remember it. And over here, we're going to be finding Gliscor, who's going to be one of the highest level Pokemon in the entire area that I just randomly threw a jet ball at. That would have been pretty magical if that caught too. Still technically in the grass. You know what? Let's sticky glob ya. One, two, three. Nope, he's taking more than three. Four. Ultra ball to the back. Remember you stunned with items? Fantastic, we got him. We're just gonna be continuing down this trail and we're gonna be start to running into the, the nose pass and the probo pass. The nose pass are typically docile. They, they really won't bother you, which is pretty neat. So you just kind of walk over here. Good chance you're gonna be able to just clock this guy. There we go, that effectively. Next from here, we're gonna head just a little bit west up this way. And this is going to bring us to, I'm pretty sure this is the Rhyperior location. Yo, imagine Sneasler wasn't able to climb in the rain. Level 74 giant rock monster, literally a mountain. Oh, I needed to do that, cool. Hi, Geodude. Geodude, please stop getting in the way. Good job. You know, I've never seen one of these trees shake. Please tell me where the Pokemon is. Huh? Like the other ones that are full of leaves. Yeah, I get it. But this one? Tell me where that thing fit in there. And for the last, and probably my favorite Pokemon of this entire area, we're just gonna be heading to the north into the snowy area. If you're in the post game, you know about this one. But if you haven't made your way to the post game yet, here it is. One of my favorite Pokemans, the Alpha Electrovire. 
I also want to go on record and say, because of my jumping abilities, did the Wayward Cave, right? And then before I made my way to go get Sneasler, who's over here, I explored the entire area and got myself an Electrovire. Also, this is a weird blown out moment of just everything being super white. Hopefully you'll be good for the thumbnail. Yeah. They're all just looking around, really? Okay. Seems like kind of a wasted turn there, but all right. He's gonna use thunder. Good job. Thunderbolt. Good job. Why would we use a ground Pokemon? Thunder Wave. Like the alphas I get. Like they have the high IQ and then just seeing the other random Pokemon just do nothing. Hysterical. That's actually going to be all of the alpha Pokemon for this entire region. That only leaves one region left for all the alphas. I know you're cold. I know you're cold. Only this one area has snow. That's why we have the snow boots and the snow pants, but we still have the regular top. Okay. Next video is probably going to be the rare Pokemon guide for this area, which couple of spicy ones that you may want to go get and then uh yeah we're gonna be making our way to the ice lands can't wait for it well if you found this video helpful do me a favor hit the thumbs up button down below if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe turn on notifications until next time austin john out i wish they had still had the spinny thing from sword and shield